Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMeo, and I lost my sock. But besides that, today we're going to learn about earthquakes. And we're going to find my sock. Come on, come on, come on. So why are we looking for a sock in a soccer field? I don't know, I figured sock, soccer field, plus we have to find an earthquake for this video, so... The way if scientists can't even predict earthquakes, how do you think you're going to find one? Well, scientists say there are several million earthquakes that happen each year, so we're bound to find one eventually. But well, where in New Jersey? Where we are, there aren't that many earthquakes. How would you know? You're just a blue puppet. We'll take a look at this. <laughs> this map shows where the most earthquakes occur in the United States. The red spots show where they're the most dangerous. This map is for earthquakes all around the world. The red spots here show where earthquakes are the most likely to occur. So I doubt we'll find any earthquakes around here. Oh no! Listen man, you keep your eyes open for an earthquake and I'll look for my son. Hey, it's your... Shh. Wait a second. Do you feel that? I, I feel your hand on my mouth, but that's about it. Shh, that's not it. I think it's a... Earthquake! Oh, man, my sock is gone. Hey, maybe that guy has it. I'll give him a shot. Sure, you want to do this? What's the worst that could happen? We fall into the earth, die a horrible death, never to be remembered. What? Yeah, but he might know where my sock is, so it's totally worth it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Hey, Mr. DeMeo. Yeah? You remember that time when you made me come to life? Yeah. That was awesome. Hey, enough chit-chat, Earthquake. I'm looking for a sock. It's this guy's brother. I just poked myself in the eye with it. It smells a little weird. <gasps> Have you seen it? Uh, sorry, man. I think I swallowed it. You ate my sock? That was my great-grandmother's sock. She knitted it when I was a little baby girl. What? Boy! Sorry, ma'am, but if it makes any difference at all, I also swallowed like six houses, some guy named Krusty Face, an iguana, and like six baby birds. It was awesome. Well, is there any chance I can get it back? Not unless you want to jump into my mouth and fall deep into the earth. That thing is gone. Ugh, fine. Hey, anyway, before, that earthquake lasted for like three seconds. Is that how long earthquakes usually last? Well, some earthquakes can last for over five minutes, but most earthquakes last for about 10 to 30 seconds. 10 to 30 seconds of shaking? That doesn't sound so bad. Here, watch this. <laughs> Hey, do you remember that time that you and Andy awkwardly shook for like 10 seconds? Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, I guess, if you say so. Well, you may think that 10 to 30 seconds of shaking isn't bad. Earthquakes can cause billions of dollars in damages each year. Just look at some of these photos that were taken after an earthquake in Japan not long ago. Hey, do you remember when I showed you all the destruction caused by that earthquake in Japan? Yeah. That was not awesome. I agree, that looked horrible. Well, that particular earthquake reached a 9.1 on the Richter scale. Whoa. Wait, did you just say Rick Birds? I love little baby birds. Wait, what? They're so cute with their little peekies. Uh... Chirp on things. What? The baby ones with the wingies and the beakers on the little tit. 
a little cheap. No, I said Richter. Well, did you mean Rick Birds? Because if you did, that's a pretty sweet name. No, I said Richter as in the Richter scale. Oh, he totally said Rick Birds with a little egg in the wingies. Anyway, this Richter scale is a way to measure the size of an earthquake. It gives a number between 1 and 10 for how strong an earthquake is. A 1 is tiny and hardly felt, but a 10 causes extreme damage. Wait, that earthquake you showed me before was a 9.1 on your Richter scale, and it looks pretty bad. Has there ever been an earthquake that was even bigger? Yep, an even bigger earthquake hit Chile in 1960. It reached a 9.5 on the Richter scale. There it is again, Rick Birds. If you like this dude so much, why don't you marry him? Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I can't marry anything. I'm an earthquake. Well, if you do find a way to marry him, make sure you have little baby hot dogs at the wedding because they're always a hit. Okay, moving on. Here, take a look at some pictures of the biggest earthquake ever recorded. Earthquakes are dangerous. So let me ask you the million dollar question. Sure, ask away. What actually causes an earthquake? I thought you'd never ask. Here, look at this. Hey, do you remember that time when I showed you a crab eating strawberries? Yeah. That was awesome. But for real, here, take a look at this. The Earth is mostly made up of four layers, the inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. While the mantle is pretty thick, the crust is thin compared to the other layers. The mantle is about 1,800 miles thick, while the crust is only about 3 to 5 miles thick. These thin layers are broken into pieces called tectonic plates. The plates are like puzzle pieces floating on top of the Earth's inner core. Sometimes these pieces slide under or against each other and become stuck. When the pieces slide apart, they create tremendous force. This causes the Earth to shake. And that is what causes an earthquake. That's cool and all, but I still only have one sock. Well, unless you want to jump into me, there's no way you're getting that sock back. We'll open up wide, Earthquake, cause here I come. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Hey Andy, do you remember that time when Mr. DeMeo jumped into my mouth and fell to the center of the earth? Yep. That was awesome. Where am I? <gasps> it's all the socks my great grandma knitted when I was a little baby girl. I mean, boy. We'll take a look at this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> bird egg. <laughs> yeah. And then there's quack squawk and then later. <laughs> uh, come on. And then there's bloop bloop. <laughs> and then they bloop bloop and they got a little egg. Sometimes they flap and sometimes they ostriches and ostriches don't lie. You're not even looking at me, Andy. <laughs> <laughs>